It makes it easy to communicate with people that you wouldn't see regularly. Talk to my friends and keep keep in touch with my family. Well, I don't really use the internet, but I do text a lot. The I most common thing I do is yeah. listen to music, so I think that'd have to be the number one. I have a Twitter as of like a week ago, tweeting it up. Um, I like to go on Tumblr. That's probably my favorite thing to do. Information about other people and share ideas with other people from distances. And Ease of it, getting information from sites like Google. Handy for things like, uh, I'll often use Facebook to make plans with friends, things like, okay, I'll pick you up tomorrow at so-and-so time. Yeah, friends in other countries. And stuff. Just say, like relatives or friends. France, family. Spain, China. Is that it gives me an opportunity to connect with people who I otherwise would not be able to. Cell phone gives you the opportunity just to like, instead of calling um, someone, you can shoot them a quick text, let them know, like, hey, this is what's going on. Facebook, you can sync with contacts, and it, it's like you can get anybody's information, you can get anybody's number. Taken out of hand, and it's invasive. Sometimes I see people like talking harshly to each other. Careful what you post, because some like post like statuses or pictures, even like people post can be really inappropriate. I don't like how people are so rude to people on social media, how they ha think they can freely talk about anything they want and put somebody down. It takes away from face-to-face -face time that you get with other people. Like when you would regularly go travel somewhere or go outside, you would be on the internet. Cell phones, imp the impersonality of it. I've, I've never been into texting. Calling them is fine, but texting is eh. And then social media, just the amount of information that's available if you're not careful. I don't like how people can make fake accounts to be mean to people. It grants people this anonymity, and with that, they will tend to say things that they wouldn't normally say in person. That almost anybody can see your personal information. It keeps taking time away from doing things that are really meaningful. You use the internet as an excuse to uh, be childish and be immature and then be rude and hateful. I feel like your feelings and your emotion don't get sent through a text message or a Facebook chat message. People seem to not not care what's said over it. They don't realize that what you're saying can be traced back to you. The biggest one is form spring, where people can ask you questions anonymously and girls use that to just completely demolish one another and they say really, really mean things. Personally it's happened to me and I know that it's happened to my friends too. Yeah, many times, twice, I mean within the last week, would really? post things on someone else's Facebook page that were rude or make rude statuses about them. And she had like a form spring and she had a Facebook and the people on there would just, they'd see pictures of her and they'd start saying that she was ugly. It was a degrading message and I, uh, I took it, it you know, as nothing, and the bullying continued on uh, in person all throughout eighth grade year. It got resolved after four years. And I've been bullied myself online. If one person's being bullied, that has a negative impact on others, and it's a ripple effect. So I finally talked to my mom, and then we reported it to the principal, and then we sorted it yeah, out. You can probably talk to someone about it, talk to their friend about it, see how they're doing, and try to help them out. Uh, I stood up for her, and I told them they needed to stop. And if you see one of your friends saying things that aren't called for, then you should tell them that they shouldn't act that way. If I 
know the person or I'm close with the person, I mean, I feel like I should say something. I feel like I should step up. Um, so Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, does this very incredible thing. He has this block tool. So if someone's really giving you that much of a problem on Facebook and you just can't handle it anymore, you can block them and you don't have to hear from them ever again. If I were cyberbullied, I would try to remove myself from the media in which I was being cyberbullied. Like if I was constantly getting harassing text messages, I was uh, not look at my phone or block their number. I'd, I'd step in and say, like, hey, this is foolish, this is immature, let's cut it out. I'm not afraid to step in and ask, you know, hey, what's going on? Do you need help? High school, yes, I went through some uh, pretty brutal, I would say, harassment for the color of my skin. I found that through the support of my teachers and just people around me, people that actually cared would, uh, it helped me along. Anyone is willing to help, and I think that's the most important thing that people need to understand. It happens every day, constantly to some people, and you need to be able to do something about it, because otherwise it just gets brought out of hand, and people do commit suicide and just harm themselves because of it. Kids out there who think differently, and if they're getting called, you know, names like I'm going to use, like, as I wrote my article, a faggot or retard. I mean, they could take that seriously. Going through this stage in life, a lot of people are insecure. And just one little insult can really, like, set something off and make them do some bad stuff. Brush it off and not really care what people say. But a lot of girls can't, and a lot of people can't. I feel like the uh, bully is just trying to make themselves feel better about themselves. Or they might be jealous of the person they're bullying. Everyone's online. Everyone's socializing. It's just a fad that's taken off and it's changing our society. Dude, you should be able to worry about your school stuff and, and being able to feel safe. I guess the advice I would have for you as a high school student is grow up. You know, we're becoming adults here. Like, that's, I mean, come on. No one wants to be bullied. Just starting out and everybody's trying to, like, get a good reputation. And so it's kind of important of what people say.